God promises us that he will fill us up with good things if we'll come to him. Psalm 81.10, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. God says to his people, look, look at what happened. Look at the fact that I brought you out of Egypt. Open up your mouth wide and I'll fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me and Israel had walked in my ways. You see, God invited Israel to, to listen to him, to walk in his ways. But he, he has this contrast here. They walked in their own ways and their own ways led them into idolatry and all kinds of debauchery. But God's ways would have led them to him filling them up with good things. Well, like what? If you, when you open up your mouth and, and, and come to God and open your mouth wide and he's going to fill it, what's he going to fill it with? Well, he says, he should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. What an image. What a, what a metaphor. When you get up in the morning and ah, you smell those biscuits cooking and you come in there and mom has a big old pile of big old fat fluffy biscuits and they're hot, and then there's, there's that golden honey. You take, and take that biscuit that's made from the finest of the wheat, that wheat that good to make your body strong, make your mind quick and sharp, make your heart strong, and then you, you take and you put some of that honey on there, and it just melts down in that hot biscuit, and it's just so satisfying. Is that what your mornings are like with Jesus? Or maybe your evenings? Or maybe, maybe lunchtime or sometime that you get a break during the day and you just come to the word of God and you just say, God, I need less of me and more of you. And you come to him and you, you let him feed you. You open your mouth wide and you ask and you receive from him. And, and he, he says, I, I'm going to feed you with the finest of the wheat, the biggest, fattest kernels of the wheat, the very best. That's what I'm going to feed you with. I'm going to nourish your body. I'm going to give you everything that you need for, for your soul and for your spirit. And I'm going to feed you with the finest of wheat. And, and then I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to put that honey on top. And, and that honey is, is there for sweetness and for satisfaction. And there is nothing in this world that can satisfy you the way that the Lord Jesus Christ can satisfy you. And so here we are, we, we've got this, this situation just like Israel had, and we've got this choice. You and I, we have this choice. I can either go after my own heart's lust and walk in my own counsels, looking for satisfaction, looking for love in all the wrong places. I can, I can go that way, but it's never going to satisfy. It's never going to fulfill and that broad path that most people in this life take is going to lead to destruction, to guarantee. Or I can listen to God, hearken to his word, walk in his ways, hear what he has to say, believe him and trust him. And realize that when I come to him and I open my mouth wide, that he's going to fill it with the finest of the wheat and with honey out of the rock that's going to bring satisfaction to my soul. I don't know about you, but that's what I want. And so I just want to encourage you this morning. Uh, let's, let's listen to the Lord and let's be satisfied with what he has for us. God bless you. Have a great day.